Hey everybody, Chris Farad here. Welcome back. Uh, we had a day off yesterday, so you can expect a couple of videos today. But uh, the more important thing here is that we focus on Operation Haunting Mask. We have to extract a VIP from the Advent City. It's going to be very difficult, um, but we would have an extra engineer and some intel to help us out pretty dramatically. So we're going to take out Pullman, Looch, Loxley, Skinner, Elfrank, and Andromeda. Here we go. Deployed. Squad green to deploy. Touching down. We're moving in for an emergency extraction of a VIP working for the resistance. The spokesman. We're in Vancouver, okay. The rest is up to us. Locate the VIP and escort them out of the area safely. Goes without saying, but don't leave any hostiles standing. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the tip. I appreciate that. Uh, oh no, why? <laughs> what is this about? This is not the first time that that's happened to us. Target coordinates incoming. Secure the VIP and proceed to the evac volume for extraction. So like right off the bat. We're here, so your position isn't concealed for the extraction. We are significantly behind. Now we could... We could if we wanted to, um, we could break concealment to use this shredding. I'm kind of hoping that, that Tom can just do this for us. Uh, we need to make our way pretty much straight down the street. Uh, we do have some elevation over here, which we could try to use. I just wonder if taking that path is, is worth it. Um, but we definitely have to take out this turret, so... Let's get Tommy in there, and let's see if we can't start some shred. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Tommy, baby. Tommy came to play. That's... That's, uh... Whoa, Tommy. Okay. Let's move Elf rank up. We'll do a little bit of scouting if we can. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the car. I'm hoping get some action here. Another one? Okay. Well, the good thing is, is we haven't triggered anything just yet. Let's bring Skinner up. Uh, Pullman will bring up Ben Cypher Abbott Compton. That's BCAC. In case anybody's keeping track. Uh, I'm going to send him way over here. And then, uh, Loxley, come on up as well. Actually, you know what? With her, we could totally grapple up here. And she can provide all of the, the support from afar. Um, I don't want to do that on our, our last go here, just in case enemies are up top. But... They're close. Come on. Where are you? I feel like we may have seen them if we were looking up here, but... Not quite. Okay, so first things first. Let's get Loxley elevated. Um, I am gonna bring her... Oh, I can't really put her in, like, a covered position, I guess. So, this is going to have to do. I like that. And we're still squad site range to this thing. That's pretty cool. Uh, but we want to shred it. And I'm wondering if we can't get Tommy up close enough. Doesn't look like it. So, in that scenario, let's bring Tom over. The rest looks like we can move up. On the move. We are, yeah, we're like just out of range. We could maybe even go one more, but I think Same we'll doable. take what we can get. And then maybe if Infernal can 
can scout just a little bit. If we could find something, we could maybe kill zone and start something off pretty positively that way. Um, the challenge is... Well, there's a few challenges here. I can run w right down there. I'm just worried that we're not going to get the full picture and Elfrank's going to be stuck here in half cover and we run into like a flanked kind of zone. The other alternative is we come up this way. Maybe that's what we do. And then bring him over here. I mean, let's actually bring him here. Come on, recon, baby. Okay, we're all good. We have time. I hate saying that out loud, but we do have time. Um, should I just start shooting this thing? Like, I might as well. Do a little damage to it. It hit the plate. There's one confused turret, though. I have to say. I don't even feel bad for it. Oh, hello. Here we go. Nice shot. Still pretty good shot, not your fault. And he's poisoned. That's gonna I cause some problems for him. Let's go, team. Okay, everybody is, like, on right now. Everybody's on. This is good news. Alright. So... I'm thinking Skull Mine. That's what I'm thinking. Get in there, Skinner. Oh shit, look at this. Oh no, look at that! Well... That's positive. Minor cache of intel... ...or information leading to location. Let's just try and keep our tech score boosting just a bit if we can. This is still not, like, great. It's a dead captain, but... ...at what cost? Alright. I'll take that. But now... Got another problem. This guy will most likely want to... Oh, shit. What? The mechs came out... ...to play big time. Okay, let's see what Luch has. I mean, this is, uh, not good. At all. We've got a Mimic Beacon. If we don't try to hack. Try to hack, then we have this. So we can temporarily stun. Or... We have a 40% chance of taking control. I uh, don't know how I feel about that. Don't feel great about it. So, Pullman, uh, <laughs> we have some work to do here, Pally. We have some serious work to do, and I don't have any good places to put you to do that. Why is this being, why is this being blocked is my question. Like, we can't shoot through these things? Is that what's going on there? It's very weird. Okay, so... May have to move him over here to the car, which I don't like... ...at all. We do have an EMP bomb that we could launch. And that could wreak some havoc back here. Big time. I like that. I like that. <sighs> 
What I don't like is the fact that once I go inside these buildings, our aim is going to be weird. And it never seems to work out the way I would anticipate. So I think we'll put Andromeda in the corner here. And hopefully, we can still hit that same... Yeah, looks like it was there. Get ready for Let's go for it. This will make the hacking easier as well. I believe it reduces their tech scores. Yep. I mean, that's pretty good. And it shut him down. It killed two outright. And I think, did we set one on fire? I think we might have set one on fire. Why can I not... Oh. So this one, for some reason, the Mark II mech... I can't try to hack. Maybe... Yeah, I think it's just a vision thing. So if I move, theoretically, we should be able to hack it. Um, it's just like this specific position that we can't. We could also combat protocol and kill it. That's an option. Man, we are in a bit of shit here. I think we can get out of this. I do- uh, I shouldn't say that out loud. <laughs> I should not be saying that out loud. This is the only Lightning Hands target. I hate to use a car for cover. I hate to use anything that's not full cover for cover. Okay, this is gonna give me vision back here. So I'm gonna move Looch to Rolling. full cover. We're gonna, there we go. Now we can try the, the haywire. Even though he's stunned... Well, actually... That might... I'm not sure how that works. If he's stunned and we take control... Oh, no. If he's stunned and we take control... Yeah, it's still not that great. Okay. So we're not gonna do it anyways. But he is stunned for two turns, so we don't have to necessarily worry about that. Uh, Slinger, though, we... we need you, pal. We need you badly. So what can we do with you? I'm thinking these guys, maybe? We also have Lightning Hands. We're not gonna go on the mech. The Lancer would be great. But we can also move and do this. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring Pullman back here. And we'll start off. You wanna go on the Archon? That's our best chance. Okay. Great. Great beginning. Uh, we can use our quick draw. Okay, great. It's fantastic news. Or not. Oh, did I... Wait, what? Oh, you know what I did? I fucked up. It's gotta be my first action. Even though I use lightning hands, which doesn't count as an action. Oh, that sucks. That's... okay. That really is not good. Uh, like at all. So this guy is poisoned. He could take three damage. He's gonna take one to three damage, but I don't think we can rely on that too much. Can we do anything with Elf Rank? We can, it's just not it's not great. I could run and gun him like way over here. But if we do that, like you know, great, I guess. I could run and gun him over here, open the door, maybe kill the, um, the Stun Lancer. Shut him up, knock him down. 
Just trying to see if that's our, in fact, our best position. Actually, up here might not be bad. But I, I would prefer the full cover. Affirmative. That EMP grenade was like, holy shit. Oh, and I've totally forgot about this guy. Uh. Shit. That is not good. Oh, he caught fire, though. That's a good sign. That'll mess him up a bit. Other options, and I'm thinking that this is probably the right option here, is we toss down a Mimic Beacon from Looch. And we do what we can up here with, uh, with Loxley. But it's just the mech. Is it even worth it? I honestly don't think that it is. I think what's better is we take these shots. I think we gotta go over here. As much as I'd like to try and kill this guy, I'm hoping that our Mimic Beacon... Actually, maybe the Mimic Beacon draws him out. That's totally possible. So let's lay down the kill zone. Toss out the beacon somewhere where everybody can see it. I'm thinking... I'm thinking over here. Even actually behind here would be pretty good. It's this guy back here that may not see him, but I think he should. Okay, and Cypher, why don't you just come on up here for now? Here we go. We have Loxley on the, uh, on the kill zone. Okay, so he only took one, unsurprisingly. He took two. Let's go, Lox. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Love that. Duck. Nice, full cover. I like that. Man, lucky sevens right now. Like, everything's coming up seven, seven, seven. Come on, Stun Lancer. I know you want to. Oh, this guy's not gonna cross in, but that's okay. That's all we needed. Now we're fine. I think. Let's go, Lox. This would mean a lot to me. And your squad. Yep. Wow. Okay. One down, thousands to go. Nice thing is we don't have blazing pinions to deal with. So let's uh let's just start cleaning up here. What's Loxley? She's gonna have a lot more to shoot at now. She can just clean this guy up, although he could die, but it's not guaranteed. It's not guaranteed. That'll do. Happy now? Quite. Alright, now we do have to kill the mech. But I think this guy is priority number one right now. on, Archon. Oh, the crits. Loxley delivers. Let's 
Okay, so... Pistol time. This is something I haven't been doing that well. Let's go on the Archon. I have not been utilizing his, uh, quick draw... ...enough. So that's good. And, oh man, if we don't have to use the rocket launcher, like, that would be great. There we go. Go Skinner, he's not even looking! <laughs> I almost feel bad. He wasn't even one? looking. Canadians, they fight dirty. Let's bring Tommy in. See if we can't shred some of this. Well. I mean, it's better than nothing, I guess. I think in this case... I'll bring L. Frank back. He's gonna shred as well, and we should be able to clean him up. In theory. Wow. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do nicely. Okay. Moving to position. That actually kinda worked. Well, you know what I should have did? I should have used his scan there. Menace one five, be advised. Hostile interceptors are inbound on your current position. Firebrand has a limited window to provide extraction. Yep, I understand. You say. Okay, I'm gonna bring L Frank way up here. Anything? Yep. Oh Jesus, two, and a Centurion. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you know what I think is... I don't think we have a flashbang anywhere. Just really not good news. At all. Okay. Why is... Oh, that's Skinner's here because... We weren't finished with everything. We might have to drop our other beacon. These shots with Pullman are pretty terrible. Maybe Click I can get a rocket in there. Looks like I can. It's more of a matter of should I. Like, do I want to use a rocket just on this one guy? Not really. Well, what's the alternative? I think I'm gonna have to find a way to get the the, the mimic beacon out there with with L Frank. I've got a pretty decent spot. We can put it over here. Um, the only problem is that the um, muton doesn't see him, and we're kind of flanked. So, I could put this inside. This is full cover from both positions, actually. That's totally plausible. It's not a bad idea. We're gonna have to deal with multiple codexes. So I'm kind of thinking that... We should... Hmm. Should probably throw the beacon first, get them to move towards it. And then make a concentrated effort to kill whatever's remaining. Um, let me bring Skinner up top. I'll bring uh, Looch in. I'll bring Pullman up. And like as much as I want to take this shot, I don't think that that's the right thing for us. So... 
I'm gonna bring Loxley down here so that she'll have eyes on pretty much everything inside. Let's get a reload. Ready to go. And then let's bring her down. Getting it done. Andromeda, come grab the Stopping full off. cover. Cypher, you can hide behind the car. And Mimic Beacon. Pff, oh, this could be bad. Because we are exposed. Trust in the beacon. Come on. Oh my god. Well. It is what it is. Duck beacon, duck! Shit. That beacon's not gonna last. Those codexes are gonna... Teleport in here. L Frank's gonna be in trouble, I think. That beacon is toast. Shit. My position's been compromised. Okay. Okay. Uh, not good, but it could be worse. Especially because these are both of our explosive carriers right now. And yeah, that's not good. But we can kill pretty much anything in one hit here with Elf rank because of the flanking from uh, Hunter's Instinct. It's just a matter of figuring out who that's going to be. We can't kill the Muton. Um... If I go here, though, we could kill off this one, I think. Let's start there. Wait, let's actually see if... I think we should move Pullman. Let's move him back here. Probably going to use the rockets. I just don't know. I can't get both. And that means I probably should hold on to them. Andromeda. Maybe your situation's a bit different. Where can I put you? Got to be mindful of these guys behind us, too, right? That's going to be a problem. I can't go anywhere up top. I could tuck in here, but I think that's... I'm not sure how that would be impacted. Okay, let's do this. Let's come back here. Here I come. I w I would love to have kill zone right now, I'll tell you that much. What I think though is that we're gonna pull back up top. We're probably gonna draw fire from the Muton. But, I'm just thinking if we, if, because we may have to split these codexes here. But that, then we got the Centurion to deal with. So who are we blowing up? Do you want to open these guys? I'm thinking if we can get a hit back here, this could actually be pretty beneficial. Let's go. Cut! Come on, Tommy! Alright. So now he's at least exposed. So he went up top. Alright. Alright. 
I think this is a kill with Elf Rank. Most likely. Come on. There it is. Okay, now... Like, we gotta try and get in there and kill that guy. I just... I hate the fact that... I'm most likely gonna be exposed. This was a really good position for them. I can move up here and maintain some cover. Maybe over here... Like... I, I think I have to take the chance that they're gonna go after... Loxley, which I'm not, like, the biggest fan of. But... I think I'm far enough away. Okay, and then... Oh, then what do we... What do we even kill? What's worse, the Muton or the Codex? They're both equally shit. Let's see if we can't take out the Muton. Oh, really, Looch? Not even close. Sevens everywhere. Hard target, minimal damage. Okay, well. I could bring him down here again, risking being exposed. But I mean, like, let's take this side. I'm going. Hoping to kill off that Muton. Let's go, Skinner. There you go. Just enough. Well, how about that? Yeah, how about that? Gonna need to reload soon. And then, you know what? I've been saying I don't want to kill like one thing. But I don't think that's such a bad deal, if we want to take it. We do have Loxley. He's not going to be able to kill the, uh, the Muton. Pretty good chance of killing this Codex. Not so concerned about the Sectoid right now. If we can kill that Codex, then... Yeah, I don't have a way of... Targeting up top with Pullman. I think we try and take out the Codex. Ugh. Oh my god. 94%. I think that's my curse number. That's like what happened with that failed hack not too long ago. Alright, well, I hate to do it, but I cannot be having too many of these floating around. Okay, and then Cypher, my god, where am I even going to put you? That's a whole other problem. Uh... I think I'll bring Cypher... I'm going to tuck you up here for now. And then we pray! Oh no, Pullman's and shit. Andromeda too. Be a man! Oh, Skinner. It's a flesh wound, buddy. Could be worse. You're gonna be fine. Everyone's doing fine. Everybody breathe. Mmm! Wow! <laughs> that was lucky. That was pretty lucky. gonna go for the panic. Oh, shit. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, that is really bad. Oh my god, that's really bad. 
Okay, Pullman. You're gonna need to, like... You need to not do three damage right now. Okay, that's your thing. Three damage cannot be your thing right now. Thank you for implementing that request. Okay. Now, uh, I have another problem. I need to try and blow up that car, but I do not think that I'm going to be able to reach it. What else can I do? Uh... I have run and gun. That is something I do have. Can I get Loxley back, though, is the question. If I go over here, I bet I could see the Sectoid. The chances of hitting it won't be, like, the greatest of all time. But it is... It is possible. Let's just bring Pullman into full cover. We've got the heal. I don't like this at frickin' all. Okay. L. Frank. We need you, buddy. Give me eyes on the sectoid. There it is. 63. Holy shit. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty lucky. Like, that's... I mean, that's pretty lucky that that has worked out. Okay, so now... Now... I just... I don't know how our angles are gonna be here. I'm gonna leave Tom in the open, just going for the kill on this Muton. This is for you. Hopefully the car does blow up. Sometimes they don't. There it is. Hit him, hit him. He's almost dead. We can kill him. We have Loxley back as well, so... Loxley, you want to get some revenge? Want to save some ammo? Yeah, there we go. Whew, shit. There you go. Okay. Let's bring him down. Let's heal. Bring Good old timer job. up. Let's scan. Mode. Anything? Anything? Civilians? 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 Oh, shit. We've got two right behind the extraction zone. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's start moving. Shall we? Whatever you say. Let's get a reload in here on L Frank. Reloaded. I really wish the turrets would give cover. That would be Moving outstanding, out. in my opinion. Affirmative. Moving out. Let's get Pullman reloaded. Let's get Andromeda reloaded. Cypher up to the truck. Why the fuck did that door just open? That door- somebody just kicked that door open. We're gonna keep moving these guys in. Finally. Moving to Overwatch. Uh, Loxley, I'm fine here. I can dash down and grapple up and then get to the extraction zone. So I only need two turns with her. So I'm just gonna long watch here. Let's bring these guys up. If I move Cypher here, I'm pretty sure 
that this... Oh, wait. The enemy was here. This door got opened. This door got kicked open. I'm wondering if... Man, I don't know. Let's look. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. Seems doable. Pullman, come on in. I'm on it. Come get some. Scanning. Scanning. And you know what? I will bring Loxley over. On it. Hey, you hear anything? Well, we know roughly where they are. Here we go. The worry now is, can we get to the extraction zone? And almost more importantly, can we do it without blowing it up? Oh shit, L Frank is like, coming through clutch right now. So he's down, I'm not worried about him. The other two, slight worries. Interceptors are on high speed approach. Your window for extraction is closing. Andromeda cannot make it to the extraction zone on this turn. Loxley cannot make it to the extraction zone on this turn. Which means that more than likely here, we should try and kill them. Uh, the problem is... that they're kind of far away and we have no explosives so I've got some theories <laughs> maybe what we do okay first thing oh he can't make it either son of a bitch I could put him up top we could kill zone I mean, I can reload with Looch. We could combat protocol, bypass that, so he only has one, two, three, six health. Um, we've got aid protocol that we can use to grant the covering fire overwatch. Which would mean that I could get Elfrank into maybe a bit of a better position. I'd like to take shots with him if I could. Maybe put him here, take the shot, and then see what happens. It's this guy down at the end which is really giving me grief, I think, but... Let's do this. I'm gonna bring L Frank over to the left. These chances are really terrible. But I'm probably gonna give him covering fire overwatch anyway. I mean, Slinger, 45% on this guy. It's not bad. Hey, hello. 50-50, ish. Let's bring him up. As long as we, like, we can take some hits, I think. We just can't, if we get crit or something bad happens like that, we are pretty fucked. Let's reload Looch. Got two 40% chances in the one in the back. I mean... If one of them hits... Nope. That is not good. Come on, Luchi, buddy. Come on, Luch. Come on, Luch. Something. 
damn it. Okay. Then we have Skinner. I want to keep him within range of the extraction zone, which I think he is. If I move him back here. We don't need to take that shot. We're most likely going to aid Protocol and Infernal. Who's got roughly a 40% chance on this one, so let's just go for it. I'm not expecting to hit it, but... Holy shit. Infernal has hit everything. Like... M V P. Wow. Um, now Loxley, I will be able if I need to to get up there and get to the extraction, so I'm not too worried about that. And you know what? I'm gonna kill zone here because I don't want this guy. He should die, but if he moves or something, I don't want. I just don't want any issues there. So I'm gonna kill zone. And actually, maybe what I do, because of the distance here, let's drop the kill zone. I just need to get this guy, like, out of vision, I think. I'm gonna put him behind the staircase. Andromeda... Not much I can do. I wish I could get in range of that guy and suppress. That'd be ideal. But here's what we're gonna do. So, um... We're gonna Overwatch Tom. We've got her on kill zone. Um, who do we want to give aid protocol to? I'm thinking... Looch. Does Looch... Yeah, Looch has ammo. Let's do that, because Elf Rank, although he's hitting everything, he's a little further away, and... Yeah, I just think that this is gonna be better for Vision. Let's give it to Skinner. Or Looch, sorry. Here we go! This is doable! I think we can kill this guy if he moves. If he moves. And I hope he does, because his shots are pretty terrible. Come on, buddy. Come at us. Oh, you prick. Alright, that's actually not bad. That's something we can totally, totally deal with. Let's uh, combat protocol this. Remove the overwatch. And then we're going. Tell me we can get the fuck out of here. Because that would be ideal. Ben's gonna make it, that's for sure. I'm worried about Tommy. Tommy still can't make it. I should have thought about that. We can still get Loxley up there. And get her out in one turn. Uh, Skinner can make it. Infernal can make it. Uh, Pullman, he can make it. It's Tommy. So I think what we'll do... Bring Tommy in here. So that he can make it on the next turn. Let's bring him in. And actually, we could run and gun back there and kill him. Right? There wouldn't be any more enemies, would there? <laughs> Why am I even saying that out loud? Why am I even thinking that? Oh, there could be. Do we just wait it out or do we go for it? Fuck it. Going in for the kill. Running. Come on, Danny. Come on, Danny. 
Put him down, Danny. Oh, Danny boy. Danny boy is the shit. I'm sorry, but he is so good right now. I'll take the high road. Hope it's worth it. Ready it's to be ready. I'm going. Okay, so we got most of our squad out. Menace one five, you're out of time. Get to the evac point now. Oh, seriously, the fire? Seriously? Okay, what are my other options? Can I run in here and make it out? Why? Why is the fire... It's bringing me back that way, for some reason. I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's not like he's going to be down for a long time, but... I mean, if I could avoid it, that would be nice. There we go. Okay, let's just make sure we're not like on some weird level here. Copy that. Holy shit, we did it. Let's go. EMP grenade from Tommy did a lot of work. The uh oh shit. Looch, forgot about you. Um L Frank. Wow did exceptional. Everyone did great. That was Let's fucking go. awesome, guys. Like, I'm buying the drinks. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Drinks are on me, team. Woo! That was like, that, that was tense. Maybe a bit slow moving at the beginning, but uh, I had to put a lot of thought into that, and... There were a couple of big misses. The aliens did have a few big fuck-ups. And I'm happy about that. Don't get me wrong. Look at Elfrank. Jeez. Most damage, no question. Mimic beacons. We had two. We needed two. The only thing I think that... Well... The codexes didn't end up being, like, a huge issue. But... Uh, I would have liked to have had a flashbang. Stand a chance, Commander. So L. Frank got promoted, rightfully so. Um, I could give him Blade Storm, I guess. Implacable's just really good, though. You know, um, Blade Storm works way better if you take Blade Master. So let's go ahead and grab Implacable. Twenty intel from the hack. Ben Abbott Compton's engineer, like. Excellent Ready work, to rock. Commander. Your efforts continue to bolster the resistance movement across the globe. Yeah, thank you. I'm gonna put you to work right away there, Benny boy. Oh, wow. I don't even remember what we're working on. Experimental, probably what? Is it a grenade? Yeah, it's a grenade. Uh, Andromeda on autopsy. Debris, Scilab. How long is... Oh man, Skinner's out again for 20 days. Like, our really defensive specialist is out wounded very often. I guess that's kind of the nature. Alien alloys and crystals, which I like. We're currently... We've expanded over here. We have access to East Asia. So don't really have to go crazy over there just yet. Um, we've got the radio relay going here. So that we can make contact in Western Europe. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and try and grab these alloys and crystals. All right, acid bomb. Hello. Able to strip away most enemy armor immediately while continuing to damage the target over time with chemical burns. So we got one of those in our inventory now. Uh, let's go back to the proving ground to see what other strange concoctions we can come up with. Uh, let's see. We could do... We could do more ammo if we wanted. We could do another type of grenade. We could take better med kits, but our med kits are out for 20 days. Because if we don't have Skinner, we don't have med kits. That's like our, that's our motto. No Skinner, no med kits. Uh, we could build more suits if we wanted to. Nice thing is they don't take that long. Um, I think grenades. I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. I actually really like the different ammo types too. Like it's all good stuff. It's all a nice bonus. Polo, Aeneas, recovered. Strategic resource located. 57 alloys, 52 Illyrium crystals. How are we doing? Scilab, 12 days. Alien debris down here. Um, we could consider putting... Oh, that's right. He can't. We have to level him up still. He's got to rank up before we can put him back into leader training. I was looking for Polo. Setting course for Eastern United Let's build the relay. Hopefully. That'd be nice to finish up. Come on. Oh, damn it. Close. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Very difficult. 83 intel. Hack the computer. So it could be good benefits for uh, hacking rewards and intel. Not sure what the event is. Uh, protect the device. We can get Dusty Jenkins as an engineer. Increase the number of enemies on a mission for a month, which would suck. But I really don't need an engineer, and we don't get the hacking bonuses. Then New Mexico, Hidden Faceless. I actually don't mind Hidden Faceless. It's 200 supplies, which is nice. But I, I just think that Intel right now is like, that's our main, I think that's what we should be going for. And whatever the hidden event is, it doesn't matter. Um, I think the Intel is more beneficial, plus potential hacking rewards, which could be who knows what, right? So I think Operation Shadow Beast, at least that's how I feel right now. Okay, so who are we taking out on this one? Uh, definitely Loxley, definitely Polo, uh, definitely Aeneas, and definitely Looch. Now, Looch, what I am going to do is instead of giving you the Mimic Beacon, we'll give you the Skulljack. Um, do I want to give you the Acid Bomb? Shreds a significant amount of enemy armor. Look, it does four. And then they take additional damage over turn, over uh, multiple turns. And it does five to six regular damage. So we could tear, carry two of those with him. And then we could even take maybe blue screen, or maybe we take the med kit with him in case something shitty happens. Let's see. Loxley, I'm digging the Talon rounds. Pius, we can maybe give the Mimic Beacon. Let's see who else. Tommy Boy deserves to come out here. That EMP grenade was absolutely clutch. And I almost feel like... I almost feel like maybe... Well, he's not carrying double, or is he? Yes, he is. Okay. So, Tommy... Maybe what we do here is we give you two EMP bombs. Because robotics, like, it just fucking... It, sorry to drop a giant F-bomb for no reason, but it just erases them. It's so good. And then, maybe we bring out... Maybe we bring out Nora for a little bit of action here. And... If we make items available... She's always carried a Mimic Beacon in the past. Give that to her. 
We don't have a lot of specialty ammo coming out. We've got poison rounds. Um, we've got a grenade. A couple of grenades on Polo. Hmm. Maybe Nora. Let's give you... Could give you the tracer rounds. To increase your aim a bit. How do we have you built right now? Long watch, squad sight, lightning hands. What is our PCS upgrade? We have the aim, right? Oh, it's tempting. It's very tempting. It's very tempting. But I think... I will bring Nora, but Pullman, what did we give you? Yeah, see, he's got a, the agility, right? It's still pretty good, but I think aim on him would be better because we want all of his pistol shots soon to start hitting. Like, he's going to be able to distribute damage around pretty heavily. Um... I think we'll bring Nora this time. And is there anything else? Maybe the med kit's not so hot here. Maybe we take blue screen rounds instead. Yeah, I think this is what we'll go with here. So we'll take out Loxley, Polo, Aeneas, Luch, Andromeda, and fan favorite, Wild. Wish me luck, guys. See you next time. Bye. you once knew is no more. Earth is now ruled by the Advent Coalition and their alien masters.